What's up guys, Jersey Johnny here. Uh, sorry for the mess, uh, but I'm I'm in the middle of trying to like hook up this computer to my ALU, ALU and I'm messing with my Steam decks that I got. I'm gonna put Windows on one and I'm doing uh, just games and, and ROMs on this one. And this is an amazing deck. You guys, you guys gotta get this. From uh, Amazon, it's a, a dock. It, it it costs nothing. I mean, it, it's really there's really I forget what the price was, but it, that's how cheap it was. I didn't even it didn't even matter. Uh, it's awesome though. As you can see, it has the uh, the power from the uh, dock goes up. And then it's on a right angle that plugs in, so it's not like bent over. You're not bending the wire. It doesn't. It's not. Doesn't get in your way. Uh, then you got. You plug in your stock power, power, uh, power. You know your stock power cord. Uh, this is your HDMI out, for if you want to put it on TV. All right. This is mine. Then you have three USB ports. To do whatever you want. I have a there's a, the Wi-Fi dongle. Sorry, no, the wireless uh, dongle for um, a keyboard and mouse. But you can plug in. You have three USB ports to plug in whatever you want. Uh, so I am using one for with this. Another thing from Amazon Insignia. Just put USB to Ethernet adapter. And that's all, and you get this. Plug it into your USB port, plug the other ends into your e Ethernet, and there you go, you're connected to, your Steam Deck is connected to gigabit internet, or whatever you have. Uh, and it's friggin' amazing. It, going from the, the Wi-Fi before when I was trying to do it, and or going from, uh, what do you call it, Going from trying to do the micro SD card and doing ROMs, it was taking forever. Like insane. So like if you look right there, you can see I'm connected, see? Wired Ethernet and, and my Wi-Fi. So so just so you know that so you get your Steam Deck, you put your Steam Deck into desktop mode. Um I you don't have to do anything. This works right everything just works. So, this is the docking, uh, I don't know what the hell name brand that is, but this, it's, it's on, uh, what do you call it? It's in Amazon. So, I posted a link already of, of this for you guys before I did the video, but it's awesome. Uh, they're going to come out with their own dock, but... There is really no reason to, to not get this. It This is cheap. It came in like one day. It gives you Ethernet. Powers your thing. And it, it has a, a stand that holds it up on a nice angle. So it doesn't scratch the front of your uh, your screen. It's not high enough, actually. So anyway. but um, And then, you know, you can plug in your mouse and stuff. But so anyway... This is how you, if you want to, if you're gonna transfer files from your PC to your your Steam, your deck. Obviously, your PC, if it's not Linux, you're not gonna be able to just put your uh, SD card in there and have it re re read it. It's gonna, sh it's not even gonna show up. It's same thing like when you were working with Raspberry Pis and stuff. So I'm gonna make your life very much easier this this is the simplest thing to do okay there's there's no need for guides or anything you just do this you you go into uh, desktop mode with your your steam deck all right click on the the app store whatever they call it the discover so software center say that all right it, it pops up you go right up here and search Okay, and you're gonna search for a program called Warpinator. 
All right. War, W A R P I N A T O R. It's free, and it's in the you know it's it's there in the stock store. Install it right to your you know your desk your Steam t desktop, and this is what this is what you get. All right, Warpinator. So you ins you install that. It does this, the setup for you. They don't do anything. All right. Now, you got to go to your computer. It's like a mess. Look at all, look at all the keyboards and stuff I got going on over here. Wanted to show you guys real quick, though. You go over to your compu computer and open up Chrome or whatever your, uh, you know, whatever in internet thing you want to use. It doesn't matter. In the search menu, you're going to type Winpinator. W I N. P I N A T O R. Okay? So your Steam Deck is Warpinator. Your computer is gonna be Winpinator. Alright? When you when you put Winpinator in, you'll get this. You click on downloads, okay? And you scroll down and you want the if you're if you're on Windows 10, Windows 11, you're gonna download the 64-bit version. That's what I just downloaded. You see right there. Let it install, right? Then you open it, okay? And both your Steam Deck and your PC, whatever you're using, has to be on the same uh, Wi-Fi network, okay? So even if you don't have Ethernet and you're kind of, and you're doing it through Wi-Fi, um, it's fine. But you have to be on the same. You have to be on the same network, okay? So, I want to transfer over uh, main 2003, okay? Now, you're doing it on the micro SD card. It's going to the micro SD card, but doing it like this way, using one of these, was freaking nice. It takes forever, man. Forever. So... This is 13.4 gigabytes, this this uh, folder, okay? You grab it, you drag it, uh, you drag it, <laughs> and you just drop it in, okay? Now it's a wait, see what it says? It's awaiting approval from the Steam Deck. So you go to your, you go back to your Steam Deck, there's your thing, there's your uh, waiting for approval. You click on the arrow, and it'll start transferring. Watch my phone. Watch my phone die uh, before it it's done transferring. <laughs> Look at that. that this thirteen point uh, fourteen and a half gigabytes. So now, any of you that ha any of you guys that have already transferred. Uh, um, ROMs over to your system using using micro you know the micro scan disk the little adapters uh, you know through your USB ports uh, we um, you all know exactly how terribly slow it is it doesn't matter what computer you have uh, you, you guys know I have and I have an insane computer sitting right there um, it, it it just takes forever. So this this little dock right here, uh, which is it's awesome. I can't I can't tell you guys enough. To I wish I had a, a affiliate link. I don't. It just gives me a regular link. But I, I did post it for you guys. Um, it's it's awesome. It comes in this little thing. Another thing, uh, I'll make sure it's not. I is I got this. Uh, it's a different case. Also from Amazon, I think it was like nine dollars. But as you can see, it holds, it holds everything. And and then here, you could put like, like thirty micro SD cards if you wanted to. You know what I mean? And then it goes in there. But you could put your charger, your your the the the, uh, the what do you call it? The dock that fits in there. Everything fits in there. So look. 14 and a half uh, gigabytes done.
that's it. That's all you need, guys. So remember, Steam Deck, you go into uh, desktop mode, go into the Steam Deck store, you download Warpinator. Just think like Star Trek, War, you know, Warp, whatever. Warpinator. Uh, when you read the description, you're going to say, you know, it's trans it says transfer files over the same network. Warpinator. And then your Windows is going to be called Winpinator. And that's all you have to do is drag and drop the files. So, like... I've been trying to put put this uh, this stupid ROM file on my network, and I mean, as you can see, look, look, look I mean, I've this it, it's just tons and tons, and it just keeps going and going. That's M, so we didn't even get that Super Nintendo yet. But anyway, uh, I know you, it's you don't want to do like super huge uh, ROM dumps onto your Steam Deck if you're not going to play the games because then you, with the art and stuff uh, you know you're gonna it's not gonna come out perfect but if there's gonna be things that you know you want like I I personally NES, Super NES, Neo Geo uh, Final Burn Alpha every, every system I always get those go on there without a doubt the entire system Especially Neo Geo, it's going on there. You know what I mean? So, uh, you want those on there. But I, I just showed you, I made 2003. That, I, that was, that flew by. And all you gotta do is drag and drop on any computer that's on that network. That has, uh, that has, what do you call it? As you can see, it says, see it says Deck Steam Deck User. It does all that automatically for you. You don't have to do anything else. You're, uh, it, it, it does it for you. You just install it and and you're done. Um, this is just uh, happens to be the computer that I I was working on, so I I figured I'd just use this computer to uh, to get it going. And then, and I'm testing out. The, I got the dock today. Uh, again, this dock is um, I can't read that name. Benazat Cap Docking Station. Uh, but if you just put in Docking Station for Steam Deck in in uh, Amazon, you'll you'll know what it is because it has this this awesome power supply the way they did the power supply is awesome because it bent it has the the l bend for you so it's not like uh it's not like the wire there's being pressure put on the wire it has the l you know shaped uh input and then it comes down and then you have your hdmi out you plug your power in and then you have your three usb ports and as you can see, the internet, Ethernet, whatever, is, well, depending on how fast yours is, super fast. This is a, a this isn't my, my, what do you call it? Uh, this is a satellite uh, router that we're connected in. This is an, ex an extender. And you see how fast that, that went. All right, guys. So I uh, hope that helps you out. Instead of trying to figure out how to change, you know, uh, people are changing Linux to PC, PC to Linux readers and stuff. F screw that. You don't need all that. You just do download these two things and you're good to go. It's, it's, there's no need to uh, be messing around with changing, changing uh, different things and stuff like that. All right? Peace.